all righty good morning youtube um and audience or whoever watches this <laughs> i'm gonna try to do a new semi intro because i don't know how long youtube is gonna be around but anyway hajim zero here back with another uh quick movie review um this one's gonna be another controversial one mainly because one i love the characters just that this movie had a lot of problems um this is green lantern uh the f original dceu movie that they wanted to start off with but since you know the movie had did poor sales uh that really didn't happen and i'm gonna talk about a one major flaw that um no one really didn't overlook versus what's popular and bad and mainly the very popular thing to say bad about this movie that a lot of people have said which is hypocritical given to what the mcu technically did in, in the same way but um, this movie stars, um, fuck, why did I blank on his name? Oh, it stars Ryan Reynolds, uh, Tim Robbins, Angela Bassett, uh, Blake Lively, um, and uh, there's some more actors in it. It's Michael Clark Duncan, and the list goes on and on. And no noble voiceover actors um, are in this. And uh, I can't remember the guy's name that played Hector Hammond. His name was... Peter something but um anyway uh oh and Taika Waititi is in this too I was shocked about that one I didn't, I didn't know who he was until the MCU came out and I seen him on here it was very shocking and forgettable that he was in this film but uh pretty much um the people who've I don't know who've read the comics or just seen the movie uh it's pretty much about um this alien race that that forges uh you know, the uh, willpower to energy, which is the color green. And uh, they pretty much, um, one Green Lantern in particular, he's dying after an attack from one of the known enemies called Parallax, who is the embodiment of fear. And uh, the ring goes out and, it, and it's and it's selecting um, certain people on Earth or a certain sector. And Hal Jordan is the one guy that, you know, displays, you know, no ounce of fear, but it is a contradictory with the rules because he is afraid. But since he had the balls enough to admit he was afraid, that's how it that's why the ring had chosen him. And you know, it was very interesting because um, you know, the comics versus the movie, that's the one good job I will say it did, you know, depict, you know, um, even with the MCU. Um, how some things were too comic comic booky, but they remixed it and they made it into a way even if it would, it will definitely work in the book, but it gave a more grounded, realistic uh, view. I believe in the um, in the comic book, Hal's character was a little bit more of a daredevil. He was more reckless. You know, he really wasn't afraid of anything. You know, it's just that he, I think he had a death wish, just a tad bit. A d really depending on what story, you know, you really read. <laughs> um, and, you know, other Green Lancers as well, like Jon Stewart. Um, he was a war veteran and, you know, that that's what pretty much he was fearless as well. I don't think he was reckless and I can talk about endlessly about the other characters, but um, uh, that's pretty much the whole movie in a nutshell, me describing it. Uh, they do tease, of course, Sinestro Core, which to be honest, I really wanted to see, you know, but since the movie didn't make that much money, they decided to reboot the whole thing, starting with Superman, which they should have done anyway. You know, they could have done Green Lantern a little bit sooner than that, right after those movies came out. But the good thing, apparently, they're getting a, a, a film. I don't know how soon, but I don't know that's still going to happen because the DCU is still slipping up. You know, hopefully with the Wonder Woman, the new trailer coming out, a new movie coming out, you know, 2020, uh, it'll it'll re be a little bit redeemable. Um but uh, one of the most popular things that people love to hate on about this movie is how over CG the the Green Lantern suit is. And to be honest, I didn't have a much now looking at it. I don't have a problem with it. And I'm this is mainly the reason I'm going to say why. Again, looking at the MCU, um, you know, uh, if you look at like the Spider-Man and Iron Man films, hell, even if you look at Endgame majority of all that you know what they were wearing with especially with the quantum suits and iron man suit and spider-man suit 
all that is CG created. You know, there are a few pieces of really with Iron Man suit that isn't, but most of that action stuff, uh, dude is wearing a mocap suit and, and the animators are going in there, you know, putting the, the, the CG stuff over it. So, you know, when I was hearing, you know, they, they hated, you know, the way the suit was, how CG it looked. To be honest, it, it doesn't, the whole thing makes sense and it, and it doesn't look that bad. The only thing I would nitpick is that it doesn't look exactly like the comic book. You know, it, it does look more alien tech and it does look a little bit like, you know, the early Iron, well, it looks like, uh, not the early Iron Man suit, um, the bleeding edge suit that, uh, that Tony Stark had. So the big issue with the film, it was that it was kind of boring, you know, um, you know, it was just a basic, you know, plot A to plot B, you know, story point. Personally, I wouldn't have put parallax in the movie. It would have just been between the whole core, you know, um, How can, how can I say this? It would have been between the whole core and him finding his willpower. And uh, also, if I was writing it, it, it would have been an area piece. It wouldn't have been in the modern day. You know, um, that's just me. I wouldn't have known how to pick the villain, but Parallax, and it wouldn't have been him. It wouldn't have been um, Sinestro either. It, w it would have been somebody else. And to be honest... If I was writing a movie, I would have done it with Alan Scott, the, the first original human Green Lantern where it was magic. And then, you know, would have started from there, just like with our real world timeline, when it got to the 60s era, then it would have been Hal Jordan. You know, the whole space race thing. I talked about that before on um, the other movie I did about uh, JFK. So, you know, um, it's kind of funny how people love to hate on this movie. And it did come out at a time where comic book movies... You know, it was popular to hate on certain ones that they fucked up on like one thing. And uh, looking at it now, and even some people will still say that the, the, the suit looked too CG. And I was like, well, you got to pick one because the MCU did the same thing. Unless you want to say the animators did a bad job or it was so obvious the shit was CG. So, you know, I couldn't really get that. You know, a lot of the and a lot of the plot points and pieces from the comic book they were all there you know so they couldn't hate that much if they had changed something um uh hector hammond's character he looks a little bit more deformed and bigged up in the in the comics i wish he would have stayed around a little bit more you know um and the actor that did portrayed him did a very good job and of course uh angela bassett i didn't know that she was amanda waller in this movie even though now um, Viola Davis, Davis is playing her and she's also doing a good job. And of course, Angela Bassett's in the MCU as uh, T'Challa's mother, also doing a very good job. So, you know, um, both portrayals, you know, Angela Bassett being Amanda Waller really wasn't that bad. I really took her seriously. It reminded me of the other version of Amanda Waller that's a little bit thin, except in this movie, she's more of a scientist, not a soldier. Um. Another thing that was bold, they didn't uh, talk about or even show other heroes in this, of course. It was just the Green Lantern mythos. I think they eventually would have done that. But um, pretty much that's all I got to say about the film. Uh, another known fact, um, what's his name? Martin Campbell had directed it. He was a known director. He directed two of my favorite movies. It was uh, The Mask of Zorro and Goldeneye. And I think he did another James Bond film. Um, I think it was recently. It was probably one of the newer ones. I can't really think of it on top of my head. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. You know, it was really open shut, you know, case here. Again, if you want to talk about the film in the comments or, you know, my, my opinion or your opinion, I'm very open to it. Um, and, uh, I will see you guys in the next review. Uh, peace.